Hello, and welcome to another All the Mod 6 tutorial. Today, we're going to be covering Resourceful Bees. This mod does require you to be able to find bees, so this isn't going to be quite as useful in a Skyblock playthrough, unless you somehow or another manage to find bees somewhere. There's quite a lot of opportunity for automation, so it can be automatically generating resources for you with the bees. And any kind of automatic resource generation is always useful. So the first thing that you're going to need is some of these empty bee jars. These are going to help you to capture bees. We now have an Oreo bee in this jar and we can just right click to set them free. And the next thing that you're going to need is beehives. And these are actually fairly simple to craft. We're going to take some sticks and lay them out like this and put some string in the middle. This is going to give us beehive frames. And then if we put some planks like that and the beehive frames in the middle we get standard minecraft beehive and then we can take these and surround them with grass and then we get a tier one beehive for the resourceful bees mod and then once you've placed that you can see we get a lot of information about it from uh, Wayla or whatever this mod is that shows us what we're looking at. And so here we have a tier one beehive. It has zero of four bees in it, has a honey level of zero, and it has not been smoked. If we smoke it, we can see that it has been smoked and we can see how much time we have to interact with this hive without angering any bees that might be living in it. And so here you can see I have quite a few of these already set up and some of them have honey in them. It's ready to be harvested most of which is just going to produce Oreo cookies for us because these are Oreo bees because to be honest with you, I just thought that was too cool to pass up. And so you're just going to use your bee smoker and your scraper and you can find the recipes for those in JEI. They're pretty cheap. But yeah, you're just going to take your scraper and go around and harvest all your honeycomb, which uh, in some cases will not be Oreos. <laughs> That's only if you've got the Oreo bees. It'll give you cookies. Normally, you're going to get different things like honeycombs. So I have some diamond honeycomb in this block. This is a centrifuge. There's a manual version of it that you can build, and you're going to want to shift right click on that with both hands empty to be able to process your honeycomb in the manual version. With the automatic version, this one, you're going to use a power supply. So I've got it hooked up to an obtainium solar panel just for demonstration purposes. You're going to put your diamond honeycomb in here and you're going to put some glass bottles in there and you can have it either respond to redstone or not. I have it set up to respond to redstone and it's going to give you diamond ore and honey. Obviously the output is going to change depending on what type of honeycomb you have put in it, what type of honeycomb you're processing. There's all different types that you can see here. There's all the modium and redstone and lapis and unobtainium and soul lava and just on and on down the list you've got all kinds of stuff so go ahead and take some time to play around with those and then that's kind of it for the basics honestly there's not a whole lot more to how you're going to use this mod than what's been laid out already but there is something that's very useful that I want to cover real quick, and that's this block. This is an apiary. The first time I built this, I followed the instructions in Fifty Shades of Bees, <laughs> which is hilarious. Um, and it said build a seven by six by seven, so the interior is a five by four by five hollow box. Yeah, I tried that and I did it wrong and it didn't work. So the easiest way to do this is to click the little I button in the apiary itself. So put the apiary down where you want it to be, and then click the little I button in the UI that it gives you, and it'll show you where to build. And I already have one built up here so that we can take a look at it. It's nothing too fancy. I would imagine you'd actually want like flowers and such inside of it. That would probably be a good play. And then when you've got it built, you can see you can import bees, and you've got storage, and you've got a breeder. And this takes flowers and whatever types of bees, and will produce more bees for you. So that's really it, from what I can figure, for the Resourceful Bees mod. You're just going to find some bees, bring them back to your beehives, process the honeycomb and the centrifuge, and when you get to the more advanced stages, start building apiaries so that you can have 
breeding going on. And it's a pretty cool little mod, great way to automate some resource generation. And that brings us to the end of the video. So I hope you've learned something today. And if you have, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer them. And I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Take care and bye-bye.